Hi, welcome to How to Repair. Today we're going to put a Samsung washing machine into test mode. I'm going to do it on both types of machine, the older type and the newer type, just to show you the difference between the two sequences. This is test mode, not calibration mode. That is another video which I will put a link to at the end of this video. Okay, the first thing you need to be aware of, whenever entering test mode, the washing machine drum must be completely empty. So take any clothes out of the machine. Shut the door, then we need to go into the test sequence, and I'll zoom in for you here. Okay, to enter test mode is quite a simple procedure. All you actually need to do is press the third and fourth button on the display panel working from left to right while turning the on off button on. So I'm quickly just going to turn it on as normal, off, now press the two buttons and turn it back on. All the display lights will now come up. What you need to do now is turn this anti-clockwise until you come to TST. This is the same on the other machine, which I'll show you now. The older machine is exactly the same thing. Turn the machine on, turn the machine off, third and fourth button, on this it's option and delay end, turn the machine on, all the lights come up. As you can see, they're different. Now we need to turn this round to the test sequence again. TST and this is on the third position, fourth position, sorry, baby care. Now we're ready to go into the test sequence. There are four main test sequences on these Samsung machines. Button one, button two, button three, and the start pause button. The temperature or button one controls the fill cycle and tests all the water valve systems. Button number two, tests the pumps, because on Samsung washing machines there are two pumps. One is an emptying pump, one is a recirculation pump. Button three controls the heater, and the start pause will actually control a small wash cycle that will take place to test the anti-clockwise anti rotation on the machine and the clockwise rotation. So let's go through these individually. Okay, so first button we're going to test. Press it once, the water symbol will show up here and you will notice water going in on the right hand side of the soap door. Press it a second time, the water stops and it starts coming through on the other side. There are two water valves on this machine and this is testing each individual water valve. If you have a washer dryer or a machine with three water valves you would press it a third time and you can see 30 coming up on the panel there, and this would be activating another water valve. The reason why the central compartment doesn't get any water with this test is both valves to need to be activated at the same time for water to be going in the conditioner tray. So that's the fill cycle tested. Now what we need to do now is let the machine fill with water until the water gets to the bottom of the door seal. Now I'm going to press number 20, which is the left hand valve because it'll fill quicker for me. And I'm going to let the water rise to the bottom of the tray. Uh, now, the reason I'm doing this is because we're going to be testing the heating element and we would not want to test the heating element without any water in the machine. And we're also going to be testing the wash cycle. In other words, the drum rotating clockwise and anti-clockwise. Now, as you can see, the water now has got to the bottom of the seal and we're going to stop the water. Now, the next thing we're going to be testing is the heating circuit and you want to listen for the relay clicking in and clicking out on the circuit board and you will also see the activation on my multimeter on the wall here going up to 9 amp if the element is working correctly. Now we're going to be testing the heating element. This is the spin button or button number three. 
We'll test the rinse button or button number two in a minute, but I want to test the heater first. Now you will see I have a multimeter on the wall here and this tells me the voltage that's going into the machine, the current that's being drawn, the power, uh, so I'm able to understand if the element is pulling electricity. So I'm going to press the spin button. You will see a blue light come on and it will go out. If you listen carefully, you will hear this. But at the same time, if you look here, you will see that the machine is drawing 2 kilowatt or 9 amp. And you heard the relay click out. The relay is what is activated to send electricity to the element. Now, if you have a heating problem with your washing machine, I have another video on this at the website or in the YouTube list at the end, and that will show you how to test the element and replace the element. But what you could do, if you do have a heating problem, you could use a multimeter with crocodile clips on the terminals, and you could attach this to the two wires underneath the machine, and this would give you whether you're getting 240 volts at the heating element and if you are getting 240 volts at the heating element but the machine is still not heating the water you may have an open circuit element which you will see in the other video. The rinse button controls the pumps. There are two pumps on Samsung washing machines. One is called a circulation pump, the other pump is the emptying pump. Now if I press this once you will see one come up in the control panel and the machine will start to empty and you will hear the water emptying. When I press it a second time the light here will come on and this means that the circulation pump is activated and the water is circulating in the machine. You can hear the water emptying, press it a second time, this light comes up, that is now the circulation pump that's activated. Press it a third time and they stop. Now what we're going to do now is test the distribution of the motor on a standard wash cycle. This means that the drum will rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise, and we will be able to test other components at the same time. Press the button once, the drum will rotate clockwise. Run for a few seconds, it will stop and turn anti-clockwise. The circulation pump is running because this light is on. If I press that once, the circulation pump has now stopped. Turn it back on, it starts to empty. So you have to press it twice to get the circulation pump back into play. If I press the spin button again now, you will see that the heater is activated for five seconds and that light will go out. Do it again for you. This is testing the heating element while the machine is washing. So we know all that is working perfectly. Now, there is another test to do with the motor. Now we can either do two things here. We can either empty the machine manually by pressing the pause button to stop the machine, press the rinse button once to empty the machine, which I'll do. You can hear the water emptying. But I'm just going to stop that there because at this point you could rotate the dial back one so it shows SPN. This is spin test. Now the spin test will empty the water that's left in the machine and it will slowly increase the RPM from 400 RPM all the way up to the maximum spin speed. On this machine it's 1400 RPM. And all you need to do to start that is press start again. As you can see the water is emptying. The drum will not start to rotate until the pressure sensor has been deactivated, meaning the water has left the machine, and the machine will now start going into a distribution mode, and it will slowly build up in spin speed. There are many videos at the website or in the playlist at the end of this video to do with motor, changing carbon brushes, hall sensors, um, having testing three-phase motors, and so on. And as you will see now, the drum will start to rotate. Now this will increase the spin. It will show you what the maximum spin is. On this machine it's 1400 RPM. 
and the first speed we get to is 400 rpm this will then increase the next stage is 800 rpm which this is slowly getting to now 800 rpm this will increase to a thousand then 1200 and then to the maximum spin speed 1000 and of course I can see what ampage is being drawn on the meter here we've got 300 watt being drawn at the moment we're at 1200 rpm it is now at maximum spin speed just coming up to 1400 and once it gets to 1400 at the bottom might take a second or two we're at 1400 that is the whole motor test and we have no error or anything coming up so we have no problem and as you can see the motor is drawing 330 watt if you press the start button again it will stop now to exit the mode you need to press the on off button but do not press it until the drum has stopped rotating And there you go, the drum has stopped rotating. To exit test mode, press the on off button, press it back on again, and you're ready to do a wash. At this point, if you have done any work on the machine, I would recommend calibrating the motor. And that's in the other video that you can see in the playlist at the end. Wait a couple of minutes and the door will open. I hope you found this video helpful. There's a playlist coming up now with all different error codes and how to change components on your Samsung washing machine and also some service tips. Uh, it's always very good to do a service wash on your washing machine. Uh, that is how to remove the grime and mold that builds up inside the machine because machines are now washing on a low, si low temperature cycle and it's worth doing that every few months as well. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, at the website, if you need any parts, you will be able to get them at the website, but you will need your full model number, which can normally be located on the door or on the back of Samsung washing machines. Thank you very much indeed for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And remember, if we really helped, you can always support the website by donating and clicking on the Buy Paula Beer page. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Mm -hmm.